All right, a little college football news video. We're recording this on Wednesday night. This morning, The Athletic and Nicole Auerbach uh, reported that there are multiple people involved in the college football playoff that are looking to, like, now it might be the time to expand. And the reason being, we are now, this is year five of the playoff. Next year is year six. At that point, it is the halfway point of a 12-year contract. Everybody that is going to host playoff games will have hosted it twice. Correct. So, what better time to expand? Um, You and I have had differing thoughts on this about the best way to go about it. What, I mean, were you surprised at all that, that this was Power 5 guys that were kind of leading the charge on this? No, because I think there's more money to be made and more. The only reason we do any of this stuff is because of money. Yeah. There's absolutely more money to be made by having more playoff games than there is to having more bowl games. I mean, it's just the truth. And now, the biggest thing that they are discussing is doing away with conference championship games, which I personally never thought would happen because they make millions of dollars off of these conference what championship you, games. What do you think the playoff games are going to no, make? I, I understand that. I'm, I'm with you. But uh, there's it just seemed because you, you would have to do this on campus to start with. So I don't know why you would have to. They don't do the championship games on campus. No, they don't. Why would you but, just not? Why would you just do it in a neutral site? Would just do them in the same spot so that you don't break contracts? No, I don't care about breaking contracts. So, like, have one in the uh, uh, what's well, not the Georgia you, the Mercedes Benz Stadium. You just do it wherever it's convenient to do it, where you've got a big bowl that nobody's using, a big a big facility, a big when, location. When would you do it? The week of the conference championship games. So you would do it just immediately Why like, not? Right after. Why, what are we dicking around with? If we're going to get rid of those games, let's replace them with the first round of the playoffs. How hard is that? It's not hard. I, like, I think... Then you wait three weeks, and then you have the next round. I think you do it on campus. And then you get three more weeks, and you have the championship. I think you do it on campus, and then everything proceeds as usual. But I, right. I think the on-campus part, we're getting bogged down in a detail that's completely irrelevant. The most important thing is is getting more teams in because the four was a stupid idea to begin with. The, the worst now, idea... Four, four was better than the BCS. See, I don't know that I agree with that in the sense of, yes, four is better than two, but the BCS system is way better than a, than a bunch of morons going to Texas every week Watching football, it, there's way too much politics involved, and people are, are picking their favorites and not picking the best teams or the right teams. They're picking teams that they are financially connected to. What I would like to have is set rules in place as to who goes and who doesn't based off of how you do and then some type of BCS system to pick the other players or let a, a computerized BCS system pick them all. That's what I would like to have because I'm tired of this. My granddaddy went here and my daddy played here, and now I'm the AD of this conference. And so I got, I'm financially obligated to try to get us as many teams into the playoffs as possible. And so you're not making decisions based off what's right or what's best for the sport or, or what's best for the teams and who's earned what. You're making decisions based off of what's best for you. And see, I, I, I'm curious about BCS rankings and, and whatnot as far as analytical numbers are concerned. Because we all know, like, I've said it a billion times, numbers don't lie. But right? you're the, yeah, you're the numbers guy. But there are also times that your numbers can look really, really good even against not great competition and, and stuff like that. Like, S&P Plus, Bill Connolly's system over at SB Nation – has had Fresno State basically a top 20, top 15 team all year. Okay. But have they done anything to show that they would belong in something like this? Well, well, I don't know, but they're top 15 or top 20. That's so, not top eight. So at this point, no, I, and I understand what you're saying, but there are other teams. That, so if you're a top 10 team, but you've somehow gimmicked the system based off the offense that you run and the schedule that you have, you sneak into the top eight. Like, I don't know that that's a big deal. I'm not crying for anybody who missed out because you, you were able to do that. 
because at least we've got eight teams in. If you can't make the eight, then just so tough you're shit. you're against the the conference champions being automatically locked in. I don't care. Because no, it, no, I'm not against that. I'm not against that at all. I just want set rules. I don't want well. I don't want a group of people to sit down in a room and pick these eight teams because some some years I think some years they're gonna say. Well, conference championship matters. In some year, they're going to say the conference championship doesn't matter, and they change based on who it benefits. When Ohio State went over Penn State a couple years ago, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. This year, all of a sudden, all the Ohio State people in the Big Ten, oh, our conference championship got to matter. Got to matter. Well, well, why did it not matter a couple years ago, but it matters now? Well, because your agenda changed. I just don't want that. I either want a set rule to where we're taking five conference champions in, in three at-larges, and the at-larges I want picked by a, an algorithm. I want picked by a computer. And I don't want this we're taking one group of five team every year because if you've got the best group of five team and they've got three losses in a week schedule, then they don't deserve it. But also, or if it was Fresno let's, or Boise, let's, or let's say whatever you have year. Boise and UCF both going undefeated with a couple of Power Five wins in a decent schedule. You let them both in. Like, like I don't want rules to keep certain teams out because of well, we we had this rule and only one of them can go, only one from each. Con- like I don't want I, I if we just open the whole thing up to computers, a. I don't care about your really conference champion because it's a regular season and you don't have a championship game. If you get three or four teams from one conference, that's just how the computer worked it out, and I don't care. I just don't care. If it hurts your feelings, it hurts your feelings. But you have something that's unbiased, that doesn't feel or think or, or whose uncle is an alumni and played for so-and-so. Like, you don't have any of those problems. So th- this year's Massey Composite. Um. Which is 110 different computer rankings all put together. It's it's one way of analyzing. It's not the way. It's well, this one is way. this is a uh, 110 ways of analyzing well, all it's, put together. It's, but it's Massey's algorithm. It's well, no. This is the Massey composite is just the okay. 110 different That's computers fine. because it is uh, it's Sagarin, it's Roundtable, yes. it's J Train, it's Ford uh, AMSDS Accuratings, you know, et cetera, et cetera. That's right. So it's all these different people's computer rankings. All tossed together. Okay. So what we would have is these are your top ten. Okay. Alabama, Clemson, Georgia, Notre Dame, Ohio State, Oklahoma, Michigan, UCF, LSU, Washington. So to start off with, and what you know what, I'm just gonna write it all down and we'll just see how this breaks because it's one versus eight, four versus five, two versus seven, and three versus six. So your number one would be Alabama against UCF. Uh no, against Washington. That's top ten. We're not having a ten team playoff. You were we were talking about if we have conference champions get in, right? I don't care. I've I have made it abundantly clear that I don't care if you do conference champions or you do I, just the top. I'm eight not ranked. stuck. A hey, first thing, I'm not stuck to any way of doing it as long as we get to eight. I really want the group of people making this decision. To be thrown out the window, okay. Like okay. physically, not like well, here, metaphorically. Look, 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 I want them pushed out a window. Let's talk about this. If we did conference champions this year, okay. Fine. So conference champions this year, you got number one Alabama against number eight Washington. You've got, uh, let's see, number two Clemson, and number seven would be. Da, 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 da. Let's see, number seven would be UCF. I believe that's right, because you would leave... Eh, well, see, so here's where it gets crazy, right? If you got Washington in, but then you don't have, like, an at-large or a guaranteed spot for a group of five or something like that, then UCF gets left out again. But you're you're not... But this is why you're, you're getting bogged down in specifics, as if we do it this way, this is how it works out. Because your, your three at-larges here would be Georgia, Notre Dame, and Michigan. And that's only if you do it that way. If you only do it that way. But if you do it that way, I wonder if if any group of five team would ever rank high enough to be able to get into this. Well, absolutely they will because the group of five, the AAC is getting better. They just are getting better. 
Yeah, but the, they're improving so, as a conference, and right now they're better than the ACC. They, they had they're a better. down year this year. They yeah. had a down year this year. They had a down year this year. Last year, like last year, the ACC easy. would have been better than easy. this year's AAC. Correct. So this year's AAC was not better than the ACC. I think they were no, just this, about this year's is better than the ACC. Outside of Clemson, everybody else doesn't match up. The ACC is putrid outside of Clemson. Yeah, okay. Syracuse are second best team. Syracuse is good. I like Syracuse. Syracuse is yeah. second best team. Who's your third best team? Boston College? NC State, probably. NC State? No, NC State wasn't a good team. I mean, they were 9-3. and three. But, the, but they played nobody with a winning record at all. I mean, they, all. they beat Boston College. That's it. But, like, that's it. That's the only team they beat. Yeah. And Boston College is not great. Okay, so those three teams. Houston, Memphis. Temple, all those teams, they beat those teams. Now you might you might disagree with me. You might argue with me. Uh, no, I'm not going to. They're, gonna, like, they're I, better than NC State. NC State, okay. not a good football team. Okay, okay. Um, so, yeah, I mean, like, it, if you do, if you have set conference champions and whatever, like, do you have it set up where it's, like, a rule, like, you got to be in the top ten? I don't. This is why I don't like rules, and I like just want top the 10, to pick the top eight. No, top okay. 10 or top 12 conference champions are guaranteed in. This, this, is, this is the problem with rules. Why can't you just let an unbiased computer pick them and throw in eight teams? The BCS did not care that Alabama lost their conference and didn't play for a championship, and you had five other, four other conference champions. Nope. They said they're the second best team they're going in. Okay, why I mean, why is that a hard thing? Why is that so hard to figure out? No, I mean I I am with you. You I know understand. why everybody hated the BCS? Because it was two teams. They literally the only thing they didn't like about the BCS was just two teams. Yeah. And, and, and so, even like, even with it being two teams, not one year did the BCS ever really get it wrong. Uh, it okay, just look, pissed, look, look. It just pissed people off that there was two teams and not four or eight. So, in 2003, when LSU won the national championship, they should have been playing USC. Okay. Oklahoma got beat 35-7 to seven And in Auburn got left out game. one year, and Oklahoma got in that year, too. Well, but, yeah. that, but at least in that year, like, it was Oklahoma was undefeated, USC was undefeated, and Auburn was undefeated. Yeah. In 2003, all of them had one loss. Yeah. But Oklahoma got absolutely housed by Kansas State I, I get it. I in the know. last I, game I before at, the thing. I, I know you were at, at the, the game where they won. Um, and then the same thing in 2001 when uh, Nebraska got beat, like, handled by Colorado, com, com, like, 60 compu- to... Computers don't care about you getting blown. They don't, they, look, they don't think about those things. But that's so, the thing. But right? hang on. That mattered when there was only two teams. If you have eight teams, all of those teams that were question marks... Of could they have got they would have gotten in anyway, and now we're just letting in five more teams and just saying, All right, now we earn it on the field. Okay. All I want is for the champion to be able to say, I earned it on the field. I got in legitimately, and everybody who had a reasonable, realistic shot to win all got in legitimately, and we earned it on the field. That's all I want. Yeah, I think like so if if the computers had just picked this one. Then, yeah, it would be Alabama, UCF, Clemson, Michigan, Oklahoma, Georgia, Notre Dame, Ohio State. How great are all of those games? Oh, they're all fantastic. Notre Dame, Ohio State, epic. Yeah, even Oklahoma, if, Georgia rematch from last year, unbelievable, an game. unbelievable game. Great game. Yeah. The only game that's a trash game is Bama, UCF. But Bama's going to be a trash game against 80% of these teams. They're yeah. on a different level. But that doesn't mean the teams that, that are going to get smashed by Bama don't belong in the tournament. It just means they just somebody's going to get smashed by Bama. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. It makes sense. I mean, if we let Washington in instead of UCF. Then it becomes a little bit of a... You don't think you have the same outcome? Yeah, I think it's the same thing. If, we saw LSU, Bama already. At Baton Rouge, the very best LSU had to offer. We, we don't need to see that again. Yeah. Like, there are some times where a rematch might be beneficial. It ain't It ain't there. No. So, so what are we talking about? Uh, you got, I, I mean, you I, got a point. If, if you just take the – we're making this so complicated, and the reason we're making it complicated is because 
we have to make sure we're all equally uh, uh, allocated spots. No, no, no. If the BCS comes in and we have one of those years, like a couple of years ago, where L- the, the SEC had like four of the top five ranked teams in the BCS or whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah. like guess what? We get four spots, homie. That's the way it goes. I'm sorry. And if ever the Big Ten gets that way and Ohio State and Penn State and Michigan all go, that's just the way it goes, I mean, they did man. last year. Yeah. Right? That's just the way it goes. So, that's last year it was – when it wasn't Michigan. Who was it? Michigan State, maybe? It was Wisconsin. Wisconsin. That's what it was. It was Wisconsin. Uh, so, Wisconsin, Penn State, and Ohio State. And Ohio State, State would all win. Would have all been in it last year. Why is that wrong? Did I'll they earn it? At all. Are they one of the top eight teams? They yeah. get it? They get it. I don't like I don't like rules because the only reason – we're not putting rules in for any benefit other than – well, we want everybody to be equally represented. No, you you want your benefit to be equally represented. So one of the things uh, that they talked about in, in expanding this thing was the college football playoff was supposed to be a national thing. It's and it's supposed very to, regional. It's supposed to nationalize the sport, but there's been a focus on southern teams, which Because you I have say, Georgia, Alabama, and Clemson all around each other. Yeah. And and even still, like if you want to toss in Oklahoma, then you've at least got a Midwestern team, and then you got Ohio State that's been in it a few times. But Ohio State's the only Big Ten team besides Michigan State that has that has actually been in the playoff. That's right. Um, so like you're not really nationalized. The only West Coast team that you have had in it was Washington. But you can't force the nationalizing. Those teams have to do well enough to be earned, that's to that's earn what I'm spot. saying like you you can't you can't just toss out the southeastern teams yeah because they actually work at it they put the money into it they well, you know they focus on this it, it matters in the south because for the longest time the south didn't have pro teams they had yeah. the saints and they had the falcons and that was it man oh yeah Dow- texas always had two teams but like if you were a fan and you lived in mississippi not southeast no are you lived in Alabama, you lived in South Carolina or North Carolina or Tennessee. Like you didn't have a team to root for. College football was king. Why was it king? Because you don't have pro football. Yeah. And now you got the Falcons and the Saints and the Titans and Jacksonville, Jacksonville. But you, Tampa Bay. Yeah, you didn't have all those teams yeah. for a long time. It's a lot different. So so it just it just matters down here more and, and, and I, i'm not telling you that it won't we have seen years where the big 10 dominated yeah they would take over i will tell you this if usc makes the right hire and washington continues to build and washington state continues to build which i don't know that washington they'll always be the little engine that could but like you, i don't know that the Pac-12 oregon might be able to get oregon, back oh yeah maybe if, if oregon washington those are your big if, ones if stanford UCLA, could get back to winning ucla chip kelly like i don't I don't know that every conference can't. I don't foresee the ACC ever getting back to that dominance. Florida State will probably one day get there, maybe. But but they I, got the talent down there to be able to do it. The state um, of Florida, but I man, I I think they're fourth fiddle on getting recruits though. It's well, see, I wonder like ACC like Miami had a big year last year, but they were awful in 2018. So, I mean. Who is second fiddle in, in like the ACC? That, that's that's the right now it's Syracuse, which is you you know that that's not going to last. Oh, like I don't it, know. I think well, no, historically this, it never has. That, but if Dino Bavers can win, if he beats Clemson, he can play for a national championship. So he has no reason to leave for a better job. Okay, okay. I, I would if I'm Dino Bavers. I I am very much become. Uh, if I'm building something somewhere, don't just run away from it. I don't I don't like that the Temple coach left because I don't think he left for a better job. Now, he left for home, but I, I think mean, he has a chance to win more in Temple than he does at Georgia Tech. Now, now Georgia Tech is home. Yeah. So, so there's, there's always that that you've got to deal with. But I think the American is better than the ACC. I think Temple is better than Georgia Tech. I mean, I think they will be for the next few years. But, but but if he stayed there and he continued to build and Memphis gets better and Houston gets better and UCF stays good and South Florida gets better, that conference has a chance to be a really good conference. Cincinnati gets better. Yeah. Like, like they're on the verge. 
they need the coaches. They need to keep paying the money to not let the coaches jump from power to power five schools. Keep paying them the money, and as soon as their schools all start finishing in the top twenty-five, then the one that wins that conference will have to be respected a lot more. You can't you can't have Memphis losing to bad Navy teams and a, and a mediocre Tulane teams. You can't have Temple losing to basketball schools like Nova that I didn't even know played football. Like you can't have yeah. those losses, but as soon as that crap stops, which they'll get there, they'll get there. Yeah, eventually. These programs eventually. have not been football schools very long, but now that they are starting to go that way, I, I don't foresee those dumb losses happening on a regular basis. Okay. I think they're gonna eventually just get better, and then you're gonna have to respect the fact that they're a power six. I uh, know. Off topic. To, off I know topic, today you, they're not. Do you like uh, you like Manny Diaz as their uh, their new head coach? I like Manny Diaz as a coach. Okay, I'm, I think I think he can do well. Here's the thing: he's he's a tough guy. He's a he tough saved Mark Rick this year. He's he's a tough nose coach. They they went from Matt Rule to um, Jeff Collins. Jeff Collins. I yep. Always forget Collins' last name. And 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 then Manny. Diaz, I, I think that athletic director, if I was a big boy school, I'd be calling that guy to come ruin my program, run my program. I think he's a really good AD. Yeah, I think I think he is too. Anyway, that that's my thought. If you go to eight, a, just go to eight. Whatever it takes, go to eight. I'll take whatever I can get to get to eight. I want, I want the. I wonder if it's plausible the politics to keep out of it. I wonder if it's plausible to keep the conference championship games. And move to eight. Like, do your conference championship games, and then what would be the this reason? weekend? Because all the conferences continue For, to but, make the money. What do we? Do? So, what do you do when Northwestern wins a conference with three losses, and one of those is to Akron? Or do you let you, you don't playoffs? necessarily move them in, but you could absolutely move Ohio State out. Like it, that way, those games still mean, but but now, even more. But that, but that game actually doesn't mean anything. No, it, it does only because it to, knocks out Ohio State. It only they, means something to one team. That's not okay. Like, you're now playing the game that well, matters no, to one team. the bowl system is still intact. Like, at that point, Northwestern goes to the Rose Bowl. No, because in order to do this, you're going to have to do away with all the bowl alignments. You're just going to have to do away with it. See, the I'm Rose Bowl is going to have one of these bowl games every year. You can't just say, we get the Big Ten team. Hmm. Because you're going to have to do away with the bowl alignments. If you go to eight, you're definitely going to be. I don't know if the be, Bulls are going to be all right with that. They're so you don't care. Hang on, they're not going to have a choice. The playoff has to, in order for your conference to ma- this game, in order for this sport to actually matter, then the championship has to matter more than all other traditions. It well, just has it, to. So, so what you were talking about with Northwestern, like typically. Teams don't go eight and one in the Big Ten and lose all three of their non-conference games, right? But you can't. So, but but what I'm so doing away with divisions, I think, is the biggest thing. That is the next step, um, because you want the two best teams, the two highest ranked teams in your conference playing. But at that point, you wouldn't even necessarily need the eight team playoff. You would just need, you know, like I I'd see. I don't. I think I think you're trying. There's to There's so keep, many logistics. No, in this. you're trying to keep something that you like a lot. No, I don't care about the. It's not y'all, me that likes it. It's not me. I am thinking about the conference commissioners that it, they would have to make more off of the every conference, but the SEC will make more off of it, no matter what. The SEC gets two teams in every year; they will make more. I think there's rarely a year that the SEC doesn't get two, and there are plausible many years that they could get three as long as we don't put up a lot of parameters and weird rules that say we're only taking this and we're only taking that and we have to take this and we have to take that. That's why I don't like all the rules. And it's not to help the SEC. It's let's let the let's let the eight best teams in. Let's just yeah. let them in. And and who, who makes the eight best teams? Let's let somebody who's not connected to any of these schools make that decision. Yeah. I mean, and if that was the case, then Georgia would have been the fourth Georgia, team. Georgia would have been in. Well, really, they would have been the third team. Yeah. So, uh, okay. That's a fun conversation. That was good. Uh, obviously, we'll, we'll probably have more about different ways to go about the 18 playoff over on the website. Uh I wrote something about it last year. I also wrote something about how you could do it with a six-team playoff. I don't know that I'm so much for that again. Terrible idea. Um, but 
you know, by, we'll by, by we are for sissies. <laughs> Play football. I wonder if the Patriots think that when they uh go to a sixteen team schedule where everybody only plays big boy schools, then then you'll absolutely give me an okay for a bye week. Also, you have a sixteen teams in the playoffs, by the way. The NFL's only got twelve in the playoffs. Whatever. Twelve. <laughs> so give me a if you give me a twelve team playoff and you play sixteen games against legit competition, then okay. then I'm then I'm then you know what? I will concede to the bye weeks. But right now you play twelve games, half of them are against high school teams. Yeah. Fun conversation. Fun conversation. As always, go over to tunicatravel.com. Go over to winningcureseverything.com. Leave some notes in the comments down there. Let us know uh, how ridiculous we are, how ridiculous this whole concept is, uh, what the best way to do eight teams is. You tell us. We're still trying to figure it out ourselves. No, we're not. So, Chris, he he don't want to hear your crap. I just don't want somebody who, well, this team's always been good. I think they should be in. Yeah, I mean, you... You got a valid point. Oh, they they got the best TV ratings. We got to get them in. That should not matter when naming your champion. Leave your comments below. TunicaTravel.com, winningcureseverything.com. We'll catch you guys next go round.